This watercolor is one of the first known paintings by Vincent van Gogh. As a piece of art, it's nothing special. In fact, it's pretty ugly. But it's one of the only surviving works of an important year in van Gogh's life, the year that he decided to become an artist. Van Gogh was 26 years old the year that he painted that watercolor, and up until that point, he had tried and failed at six different careers. All of those failures left him feeling depressed and unmotivated to do anything. One day that year, he got in a fight with his family. His parents wanted him to find work, and even his brother, Theo, who had supported him throughout his entire life, was upset at what he described as idleness in Van Gogh. And so Van Gogh up and walked out and didn't return for an entire year. On his journey, Van Gogh wandered between the Netherlands and France and Belgium, and he read books by authors like Victor Hugo and Shakespeare. Without any money, he was forced to sleep under the stars and on the floors of churches that year. And to everybody in his life, this seemed like wasted time, but not to Van Gogh. In a letter to his brother, he wrote that there are two types of idlers. There's the one who's an idler through laziness and weakness of character. And then there's the idler who is gnawed inwardly by a great desire for action, who does nothing because he finds it impossible to do anything, since he's imprisoned in something. Of course, Van Gogh was that second idler. While other artists were at art schools in Paris and Amsterdam, Van Gogh was out in the fields sketching what he saw. While others were learning about things like form and composition, Van Gogh was learning about things like love and tragedy in those books that he read by Shakespeare and Victor Hugo. At the end of that year, he wrote another letter to his brother in which he said, It was in this extreme poverty that I felt my energy return, and that I said to myself, I'll pick up my pencil that I put down in my great discouragement, and I'll get back to drawing. And from then on, everything has changed for me. Over the next 10 years, Van Gogh was one of the most productive artists in Europe. At one point, he was painting something new almost every day. And not just sketches, these were masterpieces. Things like Starry Night and Wheatfield with Crows. Some of the best pieces of art in history. Van Gogh's story is proof that sometimes the most beautiful flower is the one that blooms late in life. It's proof that you don't have to go to the best school to produce great art, and that sometimes even the people that know us best can't always see our full potential. But more than anything, his story is proof that there's no one path to producing great work. And as the saying goes, all who wander are not lost. Hey, thanks as always for watching this video. I had a lot of fun with this one since I've been obsessed with Van Gogh's story, since I checked out a book of his letters in the library a year ago. I'll link some of those letters below, but in the meantime, I hope that you stay healthy and safe during this crazy time of pandemic. But thank you so much again, and I will see you in the next video.